let's talk about uh, one of the most interesting area that's magnetic lorentz force this is the index we are going to see so we are going to talk about the magnetic lorentz force motion of a charged particle in a uniform magnetic field and we are going to talk about cyclotron its working construction and principle and its limitation and we are going to talk about a force on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field direction of force and the force between two long parallel carrying conductor the current carrying conductor and the definition of ampere these are the things we are going to see now now magnetic lorentz force so you are able to see this is your magnetic field and there is a force and there is a positive charge with the velocity v so obviously the force is dependent on the angle if the angle is changing you are able to see the force is reduced that's your magnetic lorentz force so by definition particularly electromagnetism the lorentz force is a combination of electric and magnetic force on a point charge due to magnetic field it's electromagnetic field if a particle of charge q moves with the velocity v in the presence of an electrical field and a magnetic field then it will experience a force let's consider a uniform magnetic field of induction b acting along the z axis a particle charge plus q moves with a velocity v in y z plane making an angle theta with the direction of the field under the influence of the field the particle experiences a force f and the angle made towards y axis is v into sin theta that's the force so this is defined by defined by the great forces that's h a lorentz that's why it's called magnetic lorentz force the force f on the charge is zero if the charge is at rest and therefore the moving charges alone are affected by the magnetic field the force is zero if the direction of the motion of the charge is either parallel or anti parallel to the field and the force is maximum when the charge is perpendicular to the field so this is your magnetic lorentz force the force is proportional to the magnitude of the charge and the force is proportional to the magnetic induction and the force is proportional to the speed of the charge the direction of the force is oppositely directed for charges of opposite sign you can see here minus q here over here it's plus q all these results are combined in a single expression as f vector is equal to q into v vector into b vector the magnitude of the force is given as the force is equal to b q into v sin theta since the force is always a perpendicular to the direction of the charge the force does not do any work in the presence of electric field e the magnetic induction and magnetic field available the total force on a moving charged particle is given as f vector is equal to q into v vector into b vector plus e vector because in the presence of electrical field what is the force 